Did you know there's a type of parrot that's as loud as a jet engine? And it's probably not the one you think it is. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're talking all about just how loud certain parrot species are. They are an incredibly loud type of pet and that makes them not right for everybody. But some of them are definitely louder than others. One of the biggest criticisms I get on my YouTube videos is people leave me comments saying, your birds are too loud, I can't hear you. As if somehow I'm gonna have some kind of team pep talk before filming saying, please, please be quiet because people can't hear me. They're loud, they make noise all throughout the day. It's just one of those things. And um, if you can't put up with it during my YouTube videos, maybe Paris aren't the right bird for you anyway, because they do make noise all day long, unless they are napping, sometimes snacking, or having bedtime as well. So they are loud, they are noisy. And as I said, some are noisier than others. Now, obviously I can't cover all 400 or so species of parrot, but I'm gonna talk about some of the louder of the species today. Sound is measured in something called decibels, which is the measurement that I'm going to be referring to throughout this video to kind of uh, describe how loud certain species are. However, I'm gonna compare it to some noises that you may be familiar with as well at a similar decibel level. So just for some context as well, a whisper is around 30 decibels, and the normal sound of somebody talking in front of you is about 60 decibels. So starting off at 90 decibels, this is where hearing damage can actually happen. And unfortunately, I do have hearing damage. I have tinnitus from working with parrots for over 15 years now. So it really can cause you damage over time. Now coming in at about 90 decibels is the lorikeet. They are beautiful birds. I've worked with a flock of nearly 80 of them in the past. Absolutely love them. And 90 decibels is about the equivalent of being right next to a blender all day long. Now coming in at 96 is probably a type of species you didn't think of as being loud, and that is Pionis parrots. And we often think of Pionis parrots as being some of the quietest species, and I have said that on my channel before, but what I meant by that is in comparison to other species, but also they don't necessarily make noise all day long. It's usually, if they're gonna make noise, it is gonna be really loud, but it's not kind of all day long, kind of like budgies, sometimes conyers and cockatiels as well. So they can be super noisy, but they are often touted as super quiet, quiet parrot species um, to enjoy. They are awesome and really beautiful birds. And I actually have some clips to show you of how loud Pionis parrots are uh, from Pionis Tales here on YouTube. Make sure you head over and subscribe. The link will be down below. Uh, they very kindly supplied some footage of Pionis parrots because they do come in at 96 decibels, which is the equivalent of a subway or underground train. And if you've ever been on those, they're pretty loud. Yes, you. This one. Good girl, come on. Come on. The next types of parrots that are on the loud list that probably won't surprise you are macaws. Again, wonderful birds, but incredibly loud. They come in at about 105 decibels, and that is the equivalent of standing next to an industrial lawnmower all day long, <laughs> which is super, super loud. Again, I've worked with lots of macaws. They've probably been the ones that damaged my hearing the most, because when they scream in your ear, it just makes your whole head ring. It's very, very loud. And again, not everyone can cope with that uh, level of loudness, which is understandable. So they are very loud, but they are louder. Next up is a small bird. <laughs> and again, just because they're small, doesn't mean they're going to be quieter. So next on the list of loud parrots are Quaker parrots, also known as monk parakeets. They're coming in at about 112 decibels, which is the equivalent of a chainsaw. So again, having a, <laughs> a mini chainsaw, not only in loudness, but also in the way that they destroy things in your home. Again, I've been around Quakers. They are piercing when they are screaming. They are so, so loud. And while you may be able to put up with it for a little while, actually living day to day with these loud noises can definitely put a strain on family relationships and your mental health and your stress levels. So again, it's really important to experience these birds before you bring one into your life to make sure that you can cope with worst case scenario loud noises. Even louder on the list are Eclectus parrots. Again, I feel like these are a type of bird that people think are very kind of sedentary, very quiet, very calm and things like that. But when they want to be loud, boy, can they be loud. They're coming in at 115 decibels, which is again, the equivalent of all day being next to a very noisy motorbike, kind of like a Harley Davidson. Beautiful bikes, beautiful birds, 
very 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 noisy and again just because they're not doing it all day doesn't mean that they aren't going to be noisy and if you can't put up with that noise then maybe these types of species aren't the right fit for your home because you have to be prepared for this kind of noise entering your life. The next species that's even louder than all of the ones before, which I think some people think is the loudest, but it's not, is the beautiful sun conia. They are exceptionally loud, there is no doubt about it, but they are not the loudest type of parrots. They come in at about 120 decibels, which is the equivalent of going to a rock concert, and many of us have enjoyed those over the years. But being at a rock concert 24 hours a day, or at least when the birds are awake anyway, so say 12 hours a day, every single day, that's not going to do your ears any favours. Um, and of course, again, they're not making noise all day long, but they will make noise, they'll make alarm calls, they'll contact call for each other, um, and they'll just call for you. So they can be very noisy. And again, the sun conyers are not the right pet for a lot of people because they are exceptionally piercing. But as I said, they are not the loudest of all of the parrot species. So slightly louder now are Amazon parrots, again bigger than the sun conia. They come in at about 125 decibels. Now that kind of sound is the equivalent of an air horn. <laughs> if you've ever experienced that, you'll know that's quite unpleasant. And again, an air horn several times a day. Maybe if your birds are like mine, where they like to put their beak right in your ear and scream or chat or whatever it may be, it's not very pleasant. So again, super, super noisy, very, very popular species. But again, one that often finds themselves in rescue centres because people can't cope with how complex they are and how difficult they are to live with. Now, it probably won't surprise you to see the second to last species on this list, and those are cockatoos. They can be exceptionally noisy, they like to sing and dance and scream and chat, so they can be very, very noisy. Cockatoos come in on the decibel scale of 135, which is the equivalent of being next to an aeroplane or jet engine. So that's the one I mentioned in the start. They are very, very loud. And again, prolonged exposure to that can damage your hearing and all of the ones on the list, even just being around them can damage your hearing. So it's one of the prices that we pay for living with our birds. However, cockatoos are not the loudest species of parrot. There is one more that takes the prize for being the loudest. And I know some people disagree with me and that's fine, but from all the tests that people have done with decibel meters, this is the loudest species of parrot. The loudest parrot species is the Nandaconia. You may have not seen them, they aren't as common, but they are coming in at the loudest at about 155 decibels, which is the equivalent to gunshots or firecrackers. So incredibly loud. I actually have some video footage from the Fantastic Burps from Instagram, thank you so much for sending it over, to give you just a little taste of how loud they are. You may want to wear headphones for this, but keep the volume low uh, because it may wind up your birds because it's exceptionally loud. So there you have it guys. There's a few of the loudest species of parrot. All of them have the potential to be loud, even little budgies, even pioneers parrots. So many of them can be super, super noisy. So again, it's one of the considerations you need to take into account when you share your lives with them. Let me know down in the comments which species of parrot you have, as I'd love to hear from you. But from me and the noisy flock, thanks for watching. Take care and see you later.